Hello everyone, I am Sir Said. I hope you are doing well. We are going to start some questions of paper Feb March 17, paper 1 2. And these are the uh, these are MCQs. Let's start. In question number one, uh, it is written that which expression has the same um, SA base unit as the pressure? And you know from the basic formula for the from uh, of the pressure F over A, the unit is Newton per meter square. So you may write it as Newton is kg meter per second square meter square. So this is kg over second square meter uh, means uh, the kg is for the mass second square is the time square and this is length so mass length time square so option C is correct moving towards question number two you have to again write the approximate value of the speed of sound in air. You know that the speed of sound in air is 340 meter per second and it varies from 300 meter per second to 350 meter per second. So option C, uh, B is correct. For question number three. Now, in this question, uh, this pendulum is held uh, uh, stationary and the horizontal force H is acting on it the three forces are shown over there now you uh, can see that uh, out of these four vectors you can divide only this T into its components so the components are in this way T is going to divide into the components this angle is 30 which is equal to this angle equal opposite and now this is called t cos of 30 and this is t sine of 30 it is in equilibrium it means h is equal to t sine 30 and w is equal to t cos 30 so w is equal to t cos 30 is option number d and it is the correct one no other option is going to match question number four uh, this is excluded now because in, in the new syllabus CRO is not included while solving question number five the student wishes to make the distance of about 10 centimeter to a precision precision of 0.01 centimeter and you know that this word precision refers to the least count least count precision refers to the least count of the instrument for example if the instrument has the smaller least count it is more precise uh, like uh, 0.01 millimeter is the smaller least count it will give more precise readings anyhow which mating instrument should be used so we have to check that the mating which mating instrument has the least count is equal to 0.01 centimeter and it is vernier caliper yes option d is correct option d is correct for this question number six an aircraft initially stationary on the runway it means it's going to move in this way initially it's zero and uh, when it takes uh, off it's 85 kilometer per hour and its distance is 1.20 kilometer and you have to get this acceleration which is definitely a constant acceleration so uh, you may use a relation that is 2as is equal to v square minus u square so v square is equal to 2as uh, this v is 85 so to convert this 85 
from kilometer per hour to meter per second, you have to write it as 85 kilo means 10 to the power 3 and it is divided by 3600 because one hour is equal to 3600 second and the square of this whole value is equal to 2a the distance is again kilometer and you have to write this 1.20 and it is 10 to the power 3 so uh, by solving this from the calculator you may cross multiply and get the answer the option c will be the correct one is the correct one uh, just uh, just let check me again from the calculator by substituting all values the option is okay the acceleration is 0 0.226 so 0 0.23 no it's a a a is correct c is not a is correct. the method is same just solve it by uh, using the calculator cross multiply you can get the answer option a is correct the answer is 0 0.23 meter per second square now question number seven the question number seven is in fact uh, the average velocity to get the average velocity you know the relation the total displacement over total time so v average is total displacement over total time the total time is 15 second it's written total displacement is this displacement plus this displacement the displacement is coming from the area so this is 3 into 10 is 30 plus this is 5 uh, into 6 is again 30 but the directions are opposite so you have to put a negative sign here these are cancelled and the answer is 0 so option B is correct moving towards this question this is a simple question the acceleration of free fall of the proto is given uh, an object having weight of 6 Newton on the earth so this information is used to get the mass because the mass is same whether a body is on the Pluto or on the surface of the earth W is equal to mg this W is 6 this is m and g is 9.81 so the mass is 6 divided by 9.81 and uh, the weight on the Pluto is mg. The mass is same, that is 6 by 9.81. And the g is different on the Pluto, that is 0 0.66. By substituting all these values in the calculator, your answer is 0 0.40 Newton. So, option A is correct. For this question number nine, look at this question. We have a pipe here and the water with the velocity V is coming out from this pipe and going to strike on the wall. The cross-sectional area is A. Uh, when the jet of the water hit the wall, it has the horizontal velocity V. The cross-sectional area is A. There is no vertical motion involved. The density of water is this and the water does not rebound from the wall. It means the water is not coming back. The water is not flowing downward. Uh, what is the force exerted on the wall by the water? So you can get this force by the change in the momentum because mv over t uh, Look at here, if we have mass is equal to volume into density, speed and time. This capital V is the volume. Density is equal to mass over volume. So, uh, 
you know that if we multiply speed with the area its unit is meter per second and its unit is meter square so the unit shows that meter cube over second means volume over time so here at volume over time we may write v into a and rho the v so this v is multiplied with this v to give you v square so rho a v square is the fourth so option d is the correct one this is the trick at this question for question number 10 here for question number 10 uh, this is again a stationary firework explodes means the initial momentum is zero and then it is going to divide into the fragments uh, for example we divide this uh, v1 and v2 into the components because the mass is given so we can divide the momentum into the components this angle is 60 so the remaining angle is 30 and the remaining angle is 30 on this side clear okay. so the component which is uh, close to the angle is cos so this is called v2 uh, multiply with mass 50 multiply with cos of 30 and for the other component it is v1 multiply with 50 we are going to multiply 50 with v to get the momentum and not going to change the unit because by comparison the unit on both sides will cancel because here we have the unit gram as well and this is cos of 30 and for this the momentum is 8 into 100 so for upward v1 into 50 into cos of 30 plus v2 into 50 into cos of 30 is equal to 8 into 100 okay now uh, from this table we can see that the velocities are same in option a b c d v1 and v2 are same so these two velocities are same so we may write uh, v is equal to v1 is equal to v2 so these are the velocities v so this is now going to add that is 2v into 50 into cos of 30 is equal to 800 by solving all this from the calculator this is 86.6 v is equal to 800 so v is 800 over 86.6 the answer is 9.2 meter per second so option b is correct In question number 11, the spherical object falling through the water at a constant speed. Oh, constant speed means the sum of upward and the sum of downward forces must be equal. Uh, these forces act on the, uh, three forces are going to act over there. Which diagram shows these three forces to scale? Means diagrams to the scale is correct. Okay look at here uh, the sum of these two vectors i'm going to use the highlight the sum of these two vectors is looking greater than this one so this is not the correct option here the sum of these two is uh, whatever equal or not but these two forces are equal which is also wrong because maybe one of the force is the um, up thrust 
and the other force is the drag force uh, so these forces are not equal so the options are wrong and in this uh, when we add these two vectors according to the scale like this one this is smaller than this so it's wrong and we when we have these two going to add like this one these are equal it means it is in equilibrium option B is the correct one for question number 12 again a uniform meter rule of uh, 2 newton it means there's a force of 2 newton acting here at the center this one and uh, there's a uh, mark 60 on which we have pivot 4 newton load is acting over there the one then causing the rule to rotate about at uh, the instant when the rule is horizontal what is the resultant moments so you have to get the resultant moments resultant moments means we have to subtract clockwise and anti-clockwise moments for this force it will rotate in this way for this force it will rotate in this way and the moment arm is this one and this one so this moment arm is from 50 to 60 it's 10 centimeter and it is 6200 is 40 centimeter so 4 multiply with 40 centimeter the clockwise moments is equal to 2 uh, multiply with 10 so 160 and 20 these are not equal definitely so the difference is 160 minus 20 it is 140 so uh, we did not change the units from centimeter to meter and the answers are written in newton meter so we convert it from newton centimeter to newton meter 1.4 newton meter is the correct answer for question number 13 the van is 2.50 meter long the distance is 6 cm uh, from the front of the van and from the uh, rear of the van from the uh, center of the tires. The two forces are acting on the tires upward and it's stationary. What is the horizontal distance of the van center of gravity from the front van? Okay. Uh, first of all, we have to get the weight of this van. The weight of this van is somewhere over here we have no idea and this weight is downward and it is the sum of these two forces so it should be 25,000 Newton this is the weight which is acting downward so now we have the three forces acting 16,000 uh, that is 9,000 and 25,000 and you have to get this distance this one this distance is required this one okay uh, if we consider this point to to be pivot let me change the color if we have this point as a pivot then this force will be out of proportion because uh, there is no movement arm for this force so no rotational effects are produced by 16,000 Newton and uh, this distance is X and this distance is 1.5 for this force so it is clockwise and it is anti-clockwise moments that is 25 thousand multiplied with some distance x is equal to 
this is x and the, the central one is multiplied the other force is 9000 multiplied with the distance of 1.500 by solving this from the calculator the answer is 0.54 meter this 0.54 meter is this distance x but according to the requirement this whole distance is required so we have to add this x with 0.60 to get the answer so answer is 0.54 plus 0.600 the answer is 1.14 meter option C is correct because in this question you have to get the distance from the center of gravity uh, to the front of the van now moving towards question number 14 these two uh, forces are acting like this one and this one this force is F1 this force is F2 and these two forces are perpendicular with each other means this force and this force are perpendicular with each other this is called F2 and this is called F1 and the resultant should be in the center this R and according to the question uh, the the resultant must be 10 newton because the downward force is 10 newton and equal and opposite force is the resultant which is 10 newton again so this answer should be 10 newton uh, one more thing if you see in the question you can see from the arrangement that, that F1 and F2 are not equal with each other. F1 and F2 are not equal. And in the answer, you can also see that F1 and F2 are not equal. Then F2 is greater than F1. That's why this object is shifted towards F2 because of its high magnitude. So this will be the hint while solving the problem f2 is greater than f1 now now we have to suppose the value of f1 and f2 to get the result and by using the pythagoras theorem that is f1 square plus f2 square whole under root if we put the values 4 and 6 then 4 4 and 6 will not give you the answer of 10 because 10 is required so option a and b are wrong and if you put the value of 6 square and 8 square then the answer is 10 it means option c or d uh, are maybe correct but from this we come to know that f2 is greater than f1 so f2 is greater than option c that's why it is correct and D is wrong. Question number 15. Pressure difference is uh, caused by uh, an upward force called upthrust. Upthrust is because of the pressure difference we know. Uh, means the relation is P is equal to F over A. If we write it as delta P then this F is called up thrust. So option B is correct. For question number 16, the total input energy En is in the process partially transferred to useful energy output. Means uh, we have a process here. The input energy is you can say En and uh, the useful output energy is U and the waste wasted energy is w this is useful output what is the efficiency so we know that it the useful output divided by input is 200 state away option a is the correct one and option b was correct
for question number 17 uh, you know that the work done is p delta v for the change in the volume the work done by this gas during the expansion will give you the change in the volume so initially the volume was v2 now it's v1 and uh, that's why p is v2 minus v1 the change in the volume and this pressure is always constant so the answer is a now for this question this question is related with the projectile motion we know that the two velocity components are acting on it one is 23 meter this is 23 meter per second and the other is 10.1 meter per second so if you want to get the resultant speed then get the resultant like this one so we write it as v is equal to 10.1 square plus 23.0 square whole under root by solving it you can get the answer which is 25.1 meter per second so this is the correct answer but uh, one more thing is that uh, we ask about the speed of the projectile uh, and we solve it by the vectors which are uh, the velocities in fact uh, because at this point the resultant is in this way and its direction is not important while solving the problem so if we get some angle here then we can say that it is the velocity means making some angle with horizontal or vertical and the procedure is same while solving the velocity or the speed now moving towards question number 19 initially the mass is 1400 kg and the speed is 25 which is constant so the output power of the car is this just change the color okay uh, while moving uphill with the same constant speed of 25 some extra power is required because it's moving uphill with the angle of these two so if it is moving in this way means it is acquiring some height this distance is say h then this is called h sine theta so the energy is m g h sine theta and if we divide this energy with the time you can get the power which is equal to the extra power which uh, is required for this car while moving uphill so this h by t is v hence m g v sine theta is the power so by substituting the values it is one four double zero into nine point eight one into twenty five into sine of two degree the answer is twelve point two kilowatt so this is the extra power And now the total power is the initial power plus this one. So now the final answer is 30 plus 12.2 is 42.2 kilowatt. That's why option C is correct. And you may solve it like this one. If it is moving uphill with some angle two, and we have to divide this into the components then the weight is acting downward uh, one of the component is this and the other component is this so if it is mg then that is this is called mg cos of 2 and this is mg sine of 2 so the same force is required in this way because it is moving with a constant speed hence by using the formula p is equal to fv now this is used over here that's why this power is mg sine 2 into v 
and by substituting the values you can get 12.2 kilowatt and add into the initial power so 30 plus 12.2 is 42.2 42.2 kilowatt it means you have the same answer by these two methods now moving towards question number 20 question number 20 we have two wires this one and the other wire is this one this is called x this is called y are made from the different metals the young modulus of x is twice it means its modulus is 2e because its modulus is e and the diameter of the x is half means b by 2 and its diameter is b and the strain is uh, same if the strain is same strain means e by l is same e by l is same in both cases now you have to get the tension means the force in x and the force in y you have to get the ratio between these two initially the relation is e is equal to f over a e by l so instead of a we write it as pi b squared by 4 as you know that area is pi r squared and this is pi d squared by 4 so for y y this is e this is 4 f y l over pi d square e but for length x this is 2e now 4 this is f x l is same e is same pi is same and at the diameter is d by 2 so we may write it as d squared by 4 which is over here so by comparison you can get the answer for example uh, if you put this value over here or by having the cross multiply then solve it just equate so it is 2 into 4 f y l over pi d square e is equal to 4 f x l 4 over pi d square e so these are now cancelled here cancelled this 4 is cancelled with this one length is cancelled so we have 2 f y is equal to 4 f x so f x over f y is 2 divided by 4 is equal to 1 by 2 so the ratio between these two tensions is 1 by 2 that that that's why the option b is correct moving towards last question 21 half of the paper is done here there's a weight of 1 to 0 kilonewtons placed on the top of the metal column so this is the metal column this way and the force at the top is 1 to 0 into 10 to the power 3 newton the length of the column is compressed compressed means this is the change in the length there is a compression it means it is placed on a very hard surface it's a very hard surface uh, the change in the length is 0 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters i'm write, writing all the essay units here how much energy is stored it's very simple you know two relations of the energy that is half k e square and the other one is e stands for energy here half f of e k is not known so we have to use this one uh, 1 over f the force is 1 to 0 into 10 to the power 3 and the extension or the compression is 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 by solving all this from the calculator you come to know that the answer is 
15,000 means 15 kilo joule. That's why option C is correct. Thank you very much and good luck.